As a technologist, it's your job to put the creative director in a position to operate at scale. So as we bring in these images from mid-journey, there's the obvious first step. We want to be able to do this. And that is to get the background off of the subject. In this video, we're going to operate at scale by using very specific layer stacks. And we're going to leverage GPT to maintain brand control and provide consistency across our shots. We're going to be leveraging global backdrops and global overlays to provide that finishing touch. All while maintaining the ability for the creative director to refine the desired look. Let's start with an illustrative example and watch what happens when we drag our assets onto the stage. They're being aggregated and they end up in this layer section. Here you can see all of the layers together. You can think of this layer section as subjects and you can work on individual layers or groups of layers. With all of our layers isolated, we can take the backgrounds and start to fade them from view. Let's go into an individual asset to look at a composite. Here we can see that each of our elements is on a different layer, and this is where we can assign design tokens to individual layers. And in this example, we're going to re-leverage our background because it is the layer that holds all of our shadows. And by applying a blend mode of multiply, that allows us to bring in our shadow back over our shading. With all of our design tokens in place, we are now able to do this and use any one of the palettes that we have in our studio. Next, we're gonna apply a global overlay. In the description below, there's a link to a video that I did previously on converting an SVG to P5JS. So if we add a standard P5JS layer, I'm gonna use the code from the previous video and just paste that in. And now we have a logo over top on the right corner. We use GPT to modify the code a bit to be able to switch between like a light and a dark mode to provide a different look as we go across our color palettes. Here you notice that the logo is getting filled in versus just using a stroke. You can look at overlays as something that goes across all your assets on the stage. And on that note, backdrops are something that goes behind all of your subjects. Here we're going to import from our gallery of presets and grab a gradient that was written by ChatGPT. And now with a little finesse, we have our finished product. We have our subjects here within our layers. We've got our logo as an overlay, and we have a gradient as a backdrop. All of these are tied to our design tokens so that we can do massive pivots in any direction for our design system and plug in any of the palettes that we have in our studio.